With the death of the last of the Krays, was the Kray legend finally over, or was there still more to be said? We asked Sally Morgan, internationally known psychic, to see if she could get in touch with Ron and Reg. The Krays are here, and they're standing here with me now, and they're allowing me to answer your questions. October the 12th, 2000. Reg Cray's funeral. After 32 years in prison, Reg had died of cancer. His brother Ron, already dead of a heart attack in 1995. They watched everything. Reg would have liked a quieter affair, but he said it was okay, I'm not complaining, but it'd been nice to be quieter. Tell us their thoughts about the, the killing of, of Jack the Hat of Bitter. I sense very strongly that they're trying to say here that this man lived longer than he should have done by them. Um, Reg says it was very messy and that he's sorry about that. Slightly sort of personal question for Ron, was it difficult for him uh, as sort of being bisexual in the kind of environment that he was in? He says, who told you I was bisexual? One of Sally Morgan's specialities is using her psychic skills to help the police solve murder cases. But could she persuade Ron and Reg to give any information about killings they'd been involved with, which had not been revealed before? Well, they are prepared to talk about one murder that um, they feel is a secret. Does he feel that there's a sort of successor to him? Uh, to the craze, is it, or, or will they not be surpassed? No, Reg feels here very much that they'll live on for a long time yet, that we haven't gone anywhere. No, Reg says we haven't gone anywhere. We're here. <laughs>